Welcome back, 0k fans, to more Natalie the Dawn. I remain your host, Chad Fury333, and this next match is going to be between 400 and RAR on Ravaged. Still one of my favorite maps. 400 going for the Cloakbot Factory, and RAR going for Spiders. Hey, we haven't seen those in a while. Although RAR being RAR, of course, they're going for Commander, and then there just happens to be a Factory on top of that. Granted, last time we saw RAR, they did go for a much more unit-focused strategy and actually managed to win that match because of that unit-focused strategy. So, I'm really not sure what their strategy is these days. I expect the commander is still a massively important part of their game plan, but it's clear that the commander is not the only part of their game plan, and for that, I respect. I have great respect. I have respect for that. Get my grammar right here. Anyway, 400 with Cloakbot Factory. He's going for a couple of glaives, not even going for any constructors at this point. Clearly they're a little bit worried either... No, they're not worried about anything. I was about to say they're worried about either a gunship or jump bot rush, but clearly they're not worried about either. And of course, spiders on this map still quite effective because of the cliffs. Actually, this flea... Is this flea going to go in? It is going to go in! Rar going for it! Wants to see what 400's up to, and there's no defenses either. There's the commander, but that's it. And the Lotus up just in time? Just in time. It'll stop them out. It'll distract from being destroyed. Maybe. Actually, hard to say. No, it won't! Line of sight gets in the way. The flea will die in the process, but hey, that's at least one metal extractor down. 400 not managing to get that set up, so... I don't know. I mean, I, I always say, if it's up for 30 seconds, you're good. And that metal extractor was up for almost a minute. So, that wasn't a massive blow for 400. RAR, on the other hand, did manage to get way more information than 400 has had so far. And with RAR just blocking off their main ramp, there is no easy way for 400 to get that information. At the same time, though, 400, they have a stronger economy. They have a stronger military. I mean, Glaives beat Fleas pretty decisively. And... RAR doesn't really have a whole lot they're going to be expanding to, whereas 400 right now is already starting to expand. In fact, very aggressively starting to expand, going to the center as, as quickly as they can. On top of getting a couple of glaives just to scout out some of the other areas they're likely to expand to in the north, in the east and west of the map. But that's... that is remarkably aggressive. Considering that they are facing spiders, though, I can see why. Yes, spiders can pop up anywhere, but they're, by and large, exceedingly slow. They're, it's not a factory you're going to be just going in on assaults for. You're not going to be going in open field attacks. You're going to be going up and down cliffs. You're going to be using the fleas to figure out the best spot to attack. And yeah, later on in the game, it becomes a little bit more on pace with everyone else in terms of speed. But at the beginning of the game, no, it's fairly easy to just know where the spiders are going to be reasonably well enough that you just you just go for it. At any rate, though, this one Venom is managing to prove that spiders are not worthless. And no, they are not worthless. I'm not saying that at all. But I am saying they aren't the fastest. They aren't the fastest army. So at this point, Rar are just going for the expansions. I mean, they know that there might be some fleas. That's why they have this glaive here. Just on guard orders. It's a good glaive. It's doing a good job. However, given the, you know, the Venoms and the Hermits coming in here, this is still going to be a bit of a pain. I mean, the Venoms won't be able to get much damage in, and with the Rocco's, I mean, the Ronin coming in here, that's going to be, obviously, a, a difficult battle for the Venom, especially with the Venom basically going down to those defenders. I mean, pickets. Going down to the pickets. That's, that's what they do. I mean, given that Rar doesn't really have a decisive advantage without the Venom, there's not much left to do except to run the Hermits away, regroup, and try again. Although, that being said, 400 is managing to expand rapidly across this map. I mean, they have the Northern Natural Expansion, they have the Central Expansion, they have the Eastern... Center Eastern Expansion as well. And they're managing to get a fair bit of aggression into Rar's base. Now again, Rar primarily focused on getting their commander up. They've only gotten these hermits and haven't really built anything since. That's it. That's all they got. So Rar clearly going for more of the commander focus. Get a commander, push in, have whatever else you need, and the commander itself, beam laser, not bad. I mean, it's a walking lotus, effectively. Not something you see a mass amount these days. Usually it's light particle beam or lightning gun, but beam laser still good. Beam laser time too. They're they want those beam lasers. That is their entire focus. Of course, that being said, 400 also has an army pretty much built to deal with the commander. I mean, Ronin, they work against the Spiderbot factory exceedingly well, but they're also working against commanders exceedingly well. And when you're playing against RAR, you know they're going to be going for their commander. That's going to be their focus. It's not a bad idea to set up units to handle it. 
For Rar's part, though, I am impressed the way they're using the Hermits to go around the mountains to just dodge on two dimensions. Like, relative to the way the, Ro the Ronin are firing, there's an entire plane to dodge from, being in the sides like that. But yeah, again, though, Rar's commander, they're moving reasonably quickly. They're managing to get, actually, into range of the Ronin. I mean, not only that, they're... How, what's the range in their beam? 453 compared to, what, 480? 455! Oh, they are equal range of the Ronin. Oh, man. I mean, if 400 had gone for the Shieldbot Factory, the Rogues, I think, have 600, but yeah, the Ronin, nowhere near that level. So yeah, Rar's commander being dangerous, living very dangerously, but managing to get through regardless, and with all the, all the pickets wasting their rockets on these hermits in the front lines, Rar still has a lot of room to get in. That being said, if 400 managed to survive this assault here, they'll be fine. They've gotten the majority of the map under their control. Rar only has their starting location. And if Rar can't get through this choke point with all the Ronin inside of it, there's not much that can be done. Like, Rar has lost most of the map. Their economy is half that of 400s. They've basically caught a retreat at this point because there's not much left they can do. Yeah, they managed to get rid of one of the metal extractors, but what else do they have? At this point, though, the targeting system... Oh, 503. They actually are outranging the Ronin at this point. And this is where I expect 400... Yeah, they're going for the fax switch. They're going for the Ravens. They want to just kill off that commander as quickly as possible. Granted, it does have 6200 HP, so getting rid of it is not going to be a quick or efficient ordeal. But still, with enough Ravens, it won't be a problem. And given that 400's economy is exceedingly healthy, I mean, it's 40 compared to, well, 20 without reclaim. Yeah, they can build one of these pretty much every 7 seconds or so. And all they really need to get rid of the commander is about eight of them. So really, give it a minute, and there will be enough ravens to kill the commander. And it's not like the hermits are anti-air units. There's not much they can do about it, and Rar has no idea 400 is going for an air force. They might guess. I mean, I see no signs of them guessing. They're going full-on hermit. They haven't even gotten tarantulas or, heck, even redbacks, which would be better than hermits for getting rid of ravens. But nope. They are going for a pure hermit with commander, Commander continues to upgrade. It might be able to get rid of one of the Ravens, maybe two. I would build ten, personally. Eight is only enough minimal, and then, of course, Rar is still upgrading, so who knows what they'll have in the next upgrade. But with that said, Rar is managing to push in. I mean, this is their entire strategy. As always, it's, you know, you kind of build up, you get the Commander, you invest everything in the Commander, and then you just cut through like a spear, through your opponent's economy, through your opponent's force, and then your opponent have to deal with this, essentially a strider five minutes into the game. And so the question is, well, how do you do that? At this point, the answer is boatloads of ravens. Rar is going to have to deal with this. I mean, there's ten ravens coming in here at least, and Rar's commander, they will go down to ten ravens. Not nine, though. If, if one of the ravens dies, it's still over. But at the same time, this isn't ten. This is twelve. This is still potentially death. And three hit, four hit, five hit, six hit, and that is it. Rar's commander does go down. All that money invested. Oh, so much reclaim pretty much inside of 400's territory, considering how big 400's territory is. I mean, these hermits are going to manage to get some damage in, but there's only nine of them in the front lines, and these ravens... Oh, if there was an air pad, it'd be perfect, because they'd be able to refuel and rearm exceedingly quickly. But even then, the glaives coming in here, all the money being invested into glaives... Get one of them every couple seconds. There's no problems here. 400 can quickly get rid of this entire force. Once that's dispatched, Rar has got nothing. They have a few hermits coming in here. They have a decently strong economy, but no storage, which actually is kind of surprising because this weaver is not helping out at all. But yeah, that with, with that force gone and with 400 now being able to push their 40, 50 metal per second into a bunch of glaives and nothing really to contest that, and we aren't even seeing any Venoms coming up. There's... There's nothing stopping 400 from simply walking into Rar's base and finishing it off. Right, this match, there might be a way out of it. If Venoms are built... If Venom Redback is built rapidly, we could see a switch over. We could see Rar managing to get an, a counterattack set up. I mean, also the Tarantulas, because there are still over a dozen Ravens that are just hanging out. Just waiting for targets. I mean, heck, at this point, they could hit every single metal extractor that 400, sorry, that Rar has with no penalties in one volley. Completely wipe out Rar's economy. 
right away. And I'm not sure they might, might actually do that. They are moving towards it. They're, that's... How many? 16 Ravens coming in right off the bat. Why not? I mean, it's been 10 minutes of plus 30, plus 40 metal per second for 400. They've got more than enough money for this. Oh, please go for the... No, they're not going for it. Ah, shoot. I thought they'd go for the whole thing. Instead, no, going for the factory. Not going for the metal extractors. Although, okay, some of them are going for the metal extractors, but that is enough. Rara throws in the towel. The loss of their factory, too much to come back from. Lost their commander as well. Again, that is... That's Rara's play. Because that's how they do. But I have never seen so many Ravens manage to get such an effective assault in. I mean, really, how often does that happen? How often does anyone get more than four or five Ravens? Normally, that's what you do. You get four or five Ravens and you rush in, and then some of them die, and then anti-air is built up, and then you can't really do much. Ravens, six minutes into the game, to do what they just did, that is a big deal. And considering, like I said, 400... For at least half the match, they had 30 metal per second, or more. And RAR never went above 23. And with some reclaim, they got a bit higher, but basically their static economy, it peaked around 20. Yeah, no kidding, 400 managed to get way more of an army than RAR ever did. Like, that's the thing, especially on this map, expansion is key. Expansion is definitely key. I could see 400 managing to lose if RAR had gone for this southeast expansion... And maybe the center expansion as well a little earlier. Not quite focused as much on the commander. Focus a bit more on getting about a quarter of the map at least. Maybe even getting this expansion over here. Get about half the map. Actually, it's more of a third of the map in this section. But yeah, get a third to half the map. And then go for the commander hard. That could work. But that's about it. Also, Orphelius pointed out in chat that I could use a towel emote. That's a good idea. That's actually a legitimately good idea. Thank you, Orphelius. I was trying to figure out what emote to go for for my affiliate emote. Yeah. I say throw in the towel so often, it, it is appropriate. Well, that will be for a later date. For now, though, we're going to be moving on to a game between Sigero and Anir on Archer's Valley. Stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple minutes.